Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about the most important thing in life and that is bread. Every communist country, Soviet Russia, Ukraine, Yugoslavia had something that was called cheap government bread. It was incredibly cheap and incredibly important for daily life because it was made in such a way that poor people don't starve. And it was very noble idea to take the taxes and then redistribute the wealth so the poorest strata can thrive. In reality, it looks like this. You have a bread that costs, let's say, one dollar. Great. However, in order to made, make that bread, government needs to buy flour. And the market price for that flour is about two dollars. So if you want to make cheap bread by yourself, you cannot do it because government will kill you with the price. If you are a baker, you will be ordered to produce certain amount of bread every day because that is for the poorest people. Because you are be forced to do that, you will not be able to make pastry, so you will not be able to do anything that is actually generating you profit. And people will be forced to eat that bread that they actually don't like. Because government will buy grains to make that bread, they will buy the cheapest thing. It will be so cheap, so moldy, that it will smell like mold. At least you will not need some French fancy cheese that smell like mold. Which is great. One of the communist leader, Kocha Popovic, had an uncle who was known as Sandman. He was known as Sandman because he was mixing flour with sand. Simple as that. Can you imagine eating bread with some sands? Lovely. So, the government will buy some junk, then add corruption, then add some pork, and the price of that flour will skyrocket and you're going to pay for it. But uh, I just said that it will cost you one dollar. So how do you pay it? Well, you pay it in multiple ways. First, in order to get that bread, you will need to wake up early, then go to the bakery, then wait in lines, because you have no idea when it will be baked and how much of it. So you go, wait for one hour, instead of doing something productive and there are ten dollars, you will be just lined in queue. If you are wondering why there are so many queues in communist countries, well, that is the reason. Because there is no market-driven economy, there is no supply and demand, there is no feedback loop, there is only central planners and their la-la land where they just imagine that something is needed in a certain quantity. Unbelievable, right? Well, believe me or ask anyone else. You think that the price of that bread is one dollar. Oh, and some waiting. And you are wrong. Because in order to get it, you need coupons. Because at some point it will be so cheap that people who have chicken or hogs will buy bread to feed chicken and hogs instead of buying grain, which are more expensive. Because there is no free market. So, you will need to take one dollar for bread, one dollar for coupons, and ten dollars for staying in line for one hour for no reason. Excellent. So far, that bread of one dollar actually costs you twelve dollars. But this is not the end. Because there are coupons and uh, let's, how to call it? Stamps, food stamps, just to use your word. Because you have food stamps, you have parallel monetary system. So you have inflation in dollars and you have inflation in coupons. All socialist countries loved it. From Nazi Germany, Soviet Union, Communist Yugoslavia, everybody loved it. Because this is masking real inflation. However, here is the problem. Because baker cannot survive by producing that stupid bread and selling it for one dollar, government needs to help them. They need to incentivize those poor people, so they need to get more money. However, everything is broken, industry is broken, because they are controlling industry by their abysmal central planning, so you cannot generate any income. Because you cannot generate income, they need to print more money and make inflation. So, in order to get your super cheap bread for one dollar, they need to increase the amount of currency by, let's say, double. So, your car plus house plus everything that you have plus 401k plus everything, all your savings will go down in value. What does it mean? Well, that means that 
by buying bread that costs one dollar, you are actually charged like 50 or 100 dollars per each loaf of bread. Every day you are buying bloody caviar and you are getting moldy bread, which is amazing. You think that people in communist countries are starving, you are always watching some poverty porns. However, that is not the case. We have stupid bread, we don't like that bread, we throw away that bread or feed hogs with that bread while queuing around to get it. So why am I talking this to you? You think that government and socialism are here to give you free stuff. No, they are not here to give you free stuff. Socialist government wants to control the market. And once they control the market, everything will go down in quality and up in prices. Why? Because they don't know how to produce rationally. Why they don't know how to produce rationally? Because there are no feedback loops. There are no supply and demand. You cannot vote with your money. You cannot vote with your ballots. You are not asked about anything. There are experts for you to think. You are reduced to a three-year-old child, which is a little bit retarded. If you want to live in that kind of land, God bless you. You will enjoy. You, it, you will be child forever. You will die like a child. If you want to learn more about communism, check my book, Unlearning Communism. Learn what communism is and then unlearn what it is. And never, never become communist.